Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Deja Vu. Alright, let's get on in here and see if we can figure out who I am and what I'm trying to do. The lobby looks extremely clean. The white pillars add a nice touch. Mm, yes, yes. Let's check out these nice pillars. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual. You don't want to comment on how beautiful they are? It's an elevator, but it appears to operate differently. It appears to be a slot for something. It looks like a slot for a card or something. Well, we've got that. As soon as you put the card into the slot, the elevator doors swoosh open. Swoosh. You're inside the elevator. Okay, well. Can't do that here. Use my card again. So it takes me to my floor. You put the pass card in the slot. The elevator door slides shut and begins moving. You have no choice but to go along for the ride. The elevator stops and the door slides open. And then the shaft falls through and then ah, the elevator goes crash and then you're dead. Hey, you're in a penthouse. I must be rich as shit. You instantly feel that the owner of this place is well off. Well, it's me, clearly. I'm rich, biatch, except for I'm not actually rich. I'm, I'm, I have 14 coins to my name. That's, tr that's tree fitty. If those are all quarters, I got tree fitty to my name. There's nothing like a great work of art for inspiration. It's a leather covered sofa. One could admire the quality of this chair for hours on end. I'm sure I've done so in the past. The chandelier matches the room nicely. Big, round, well-polished mirror. It's a photograph of a very stout-looking brunette. On the back, you find an address, 520 S. Kidzy, Kedzy in Chicago. Okay, that's good. We got another location we can go to. Nice. It's a fireplace, but it can only be decor. It can only be a decoration as there is no chimney. It's a bookshelf filled up with thick encyclopedias and books magazine, but you really have no time to read it. Alright, oh, there's, oh, there's no other rooms. Well, can I take the photograph? Take the photo. Look at this photograph! Take the magazine, so I can enjoy that later. Maybe when on the toilet. If I go back to the starting area, go back on the toilet, I can do my business with the magazine, maybe. Um, take the chandelier. Alright, it seems like all I got here was another address. I mean, it's something. It's something to go on, I guess. I had it for a reason, so... Right? Because there's nothing else in here. There's no other rooms. Can I use the fireplace? Like a fake one. Just... Well, okay. Uh, there's nothing I don't... Can I open the secret safe? Nope. Open the bookshelf. Alright. Use the lighter on the encyclopedia. Reading is for nerds. Oh, okay. Alright, that's... We got something, but I'm still worried about what happens if you run out of coins. I'm hesitant to, uh... I'm hesitant to, like, blow my money too quickly. I mean, we got a fair number of coins, but that's... Depending on how far each one is, that could be only a couple of trips. Alright, well, let's... This looks like a nice guy. He's like, well, that was a quick trip there, bud. Where to now, chief? Where you want to go, mister? Kedzie? He says, here you are. You owe me 75 cents. Is it going to be 75 every time? I can only do a few trips. But again, I, that has to be it taken into consideration, right? Thanks for the fare, Mac. The game can't possibly screw you over. You have to be able to consistently get money somehow, I feel. I also feel like I'm never going to get my money back from those muggers. It's a bungalow. The garden has grown wild. It looks, yeah, it looks real wild out there. It looks out of control. 
Nothing unusual. How about that tree? Nothing unusual. How about that pillar? It's a bungalow. Door is locked. Uh, we're gonna have a problem here, uh, if I don't have... I don't have another key, do I? Don't tell me I came here just to get locked out. I need the key. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a weird hunch. Can I open up this? No, I thought maybe I could open up the, the cosmetic kit and there would be like a key inside. Now what? Hold up. Is that a brunette? 400 pound woman. Can I open up my trunk somehow safely without blowing up the vehicle? Can I get the key off of her inside there? I feel like I just wasted my time here coming here if I don't have a key. I don't have time to read it. There's no, like, I don't have, like, a, a key hidden in the photograph. I got an address, but to what, a, to what, a, to what end? Right? There's nothing, there's nothing left in the handbag. Also, hold up. I knocked out the, I knocked out the lady. Would I be okay now if, like... I'm trying to think... Could I do anything different now? You know what? Now that I know it's a trap, will my guy react differently? It's the only thing I can think of is knowing now that it's a trap because the lady said so. Let's try going back. I, I don't know where else to try. I clearly need a key before I'm ready here. Unless there's like a key hidden in the grass right there that I didn't uh, notice. I'll be real upset about it if that's the case. I only have eight coins. That's enough for one trip somewhere and back. Oops. I'm trying to move, and here I'm flipping through my pages. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... Knowing that it's a trap now... This is gonna get me killed. Yeah, okay. Knowing it doesn't change the fact that I couldn't do anything about it, apparently. You just fell for your little trick in the book, you d -d -d dumbass Because I feel like I need to get to this lady. But it's locked. I don't know what I would be able to do about that. Magazine. Going to the cops is no good. The cops will... All, the cops would also find guns on me. Not one, but two. I'm packing heat. Ace, follow this route. That way you'll know if you're being followed. Be careful. Don't want the cops to find Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk. Well... Okay, hold up, hold up. I have one other thing I can try. It's if I can find... If I can encounter the guy who's got information for me. But I'm not having luck getting him to spawn. I don't know if it's random or if it's like a fixed thing. Not, not going over there. Does the guy just not exist anymore? Can I like... Look at this photograph! I, can't, I still can't do it. You can't use them. You can't use the, the things, yeah. Can I do a little bit of light reading? 
Nope. I keep looking at these items and trying to see what can I use. Seltzer, the money, the wall, the sunglasses, which are too big. Hanky doesn't do me anything. Car key, gun, and coat. Here, can I... Will this cover it? You were going to pay, but the boy says, Take what you want, you can pay later. That is not the right screen! That was the previous screen! The boy is not here! I was very confused by that text. I also can't get the, uh... I can't get the guy to spawn again. He's got life-saving information for me. There he is! You run into the bum! Thank you! I got a scoop! Something that'll save your life! Worth 50 cents to you. Since I have nothing else to try at this point, sure. Why not? The bum gladly takes the money, looks around and says, Joey's hitman has been looking for you. I got the word that he's waiting in your office. Joey's hitman? Who's Joey? Is that the dead guy that's in my office? 50 cents is a small price to pay for your life, mutters the bum. Okay. Good to know. Does that activate a trigger for me to go back to my office now? Which means back in the sewers where it stinks. Let's get up to my office. Really wish that I could just actually, um... Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, memories. Oh, I better do something about it. Oh, I... I, I uh. Is it really necessary to, to, to do that every time game? It's this guy, right? Okay, so that doesn't do anything there. Do I need to be able to open up the safe? Well, yeah, clearly it was Joey's hitman. So that guy gave me some info, but I don't feel like it actually did anything. at a loss. What if I go back into the rooms I was in before? Did I miss anything by chance? Anything in the women's restroom? Right? I looked in this. Huh. Can I take a dump? You can't do that here. You are not allowed to take a dump on that toilet, sir. This is the ladies' room. How dare you. Go to your own bathroom. Well, fine then. Maybe I will. I like how theirs looks nicer and our, uh, ours, meaning uh, the guy's room, looks like a piece of shit. Well, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna close the door and spend the rest of my life here on the toilet. <laughs> Alright, so that does me no good. I don't know. I don't need to examine the toilet again. The toilet paper again. I still can't believe I can't take the toilet paper. Alright. I'm honestly not sure what I'm missing. I used the seltzer again on myself. It, it, that was, it wasn't doing anything, right? Ugh, this stuff tastes terrible. Use the medicine on the seltzer. You can't do that here. Use the medicine on the capsules. I put that in the capsule. Oh! Now what can I use this for? Uh, 
drug the cab driver? Hold on, hold on. Clearly, that's meant to go in the capsules. At least it's a thing you can do. Let me move to a different screen so it saves that change. What if I take it now? Will it trigger a memory? Medrazine comes in handy when you've been given a dose of nerve gas. In your case, it's unhealthy. You begin to feel very, very sick and you quickly lose consciousness. Oh, okay. If you've been given a dose of nerve gas, this will save your life. If you haven't had nerve gas, you'll f***ing die. Well, alright, so that's... I mean, we learned at least that's good if I encounter some nerve gas. But otherwise... Joe's bar sucks. There's nothing else uh, going on in here. At this point... The game has to... I gotta test this out. It has to have a failsafe, right? If you are out of coins... It's... Don't know what to do with your life? Just gamble. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, yeah. How many coins do I get now? All right, you hit the jackpot. Twice in a row, baby, I'm a winner. I, I, I guess that was worth doing, but... Okay, so that's a way to keep replenishing your coins. I assume that... Now that I've encountered um, the guys who mug me, um, it can actually start giving me money back now. I, I assume before I lost because I hadn't been mugged yet, the game wanted me to make sure I got mugged and got rid of those guys. Now I can continuously get the coins without having to worry, I guess? I'm gonna test real quick though. What happens if I try it again now? When I already have coins? Or can I just like keep winning like a ton of coins? Oh, give me sevens, baby. Give me all sevens. That's not it. You seem to have no luck. Alright, last time, I swear. Does the left one differ from the right? The slot machine clangs away. You come up a loser. I guess the left one is just no good, period, but... Can I gamble? Can I... Can I put it on a number? Spin it myself, magically land on that number, and strike it. Strike it rich? Yes? No? That's the elevator. What am I doing? Ah, uh, what else is there left to try? What do you think you're doing? Right, fine, use. I want to go into the elevator. Oh. It's one screen over. My bad. Uh, let's see. This one got me to the to the sewers. That's the casino. This is again the secret door, which does me nothing. I'm not sure... I'm a little bit at a loss now. Unless I get another random encounter that hasn't triggered yet, but I don't see that happening. Yep. Can I... Can I take a seat? Wait for my dentist to show up? You can't do that here. You can't sit. No rest for the weary. Well, I can assure you that's not a dentist chair. I think I'll cut this one slightly ahead of 20 minutes here because I'm going to have to figure out what to do next because quite honestly, I'm a little bit out of a loss now. I know I'm looking for a key for the lady's place. The lady's in the trunk. I don't know how to help her. The safe, I don't have the combination to. I can't afford the gun. Not that I need it. And I don't have any other addresses to go uh, to, so... I think in between these parts here, I'm going to figure out what I need to do, and then we'll come back so we can save some time. So, I'll figure out what's where I need to head next, and then we'll be back. So, 
I'll see you guys in the next one.